This is screencast to demonstrate a couple of new features of Synthon Neurite Tracer that might be useful for people's tracing uh, images which have relatively sparse but bright and clear processes. I've got an example here which shows, um, as you can see, very bright neuronal processes, uh, but in each section you can see very little of the neuron at any one time. So now there's an option in the View menu, which you can turn on, called Show MIP Overlays at 20% Opacity. MIP in this case stands for Maximum Intensity Projection. So if I turn that on, you should see that there is a projection of the entire structure which is being overlaid transparently over the image. So as you scroll through, you can still see the overall structure all in one go. And this is also done for every pane that you have open, so uh, you can see the uh, ZY plane there, um, and the top the XZ plane as well. Um, and as usual, I can scroll around using holding shift, and that updates the other planes. So when this really becomes useful um, in its own right is a new keyboard shortcut M. Essentially, if you move the mouse over a particular point, and instead of clicking the mouse, say in this process here, instead of clicking the mouse, you just press M. That is if you clicked at the point of maximum intensity, or the median of all the points of maximum intensity through that particular point. As you can see, even though we're not on the right section there, uh, in the 3D viewer, you can see there the, the blue point is right at the end of the process. So this means that you don't need to do so much hunting up and down the stack in order to add new processes. So for instance, if I want to trace out to this uh, terminal here, I can just press M with the mouse over there and after a bit of searching we should see the complete traced process there. Okay. Not sure why the 3D viewer stopped displaying that now, but ah there we are. And of course um, this doesn't uh, conflict with any of the other usual tracing modalities. You can still trace in the 3D viewer as you would like. Um, or if I complete that path I can again create a branch of that in the usual way by selecting that path, holding down control, shift, click with the mouse this time to create the start point there, but then if I want to add an additional point at the end of that process, again M will do the tracing straight up there. So for certain types of uh, neurons you might want to trace, this may speed up uh, your tracing a great deal if you're finding yourself searching up and down the stack and you're structure is bright enough in the image or can be enhanced contrast-wise to make it bright enough that you can see them in this opacity overlay. And that overlay can be toggled on and off at any time if you're finding it confusing.